What's good, YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be opening a new product, sort of. This is the Crown Zenith Booster Bundle. So if you are familiar with Crown Zenith at all, it was a specialty set. It was the last set that Pokemon released from the Sword and Shield era. And the packs all came in either the ETB or in a bunch of different specialty box sets. So there was like the premium figure collections, which were the Zacian and the Zamazenta ones. There was a more Peckle box. Um, you could buy three pack blisters. Uh, there were two pack tins, but there was no booster bundle and there was no booster box released. So in order to get packs from this set, you had to buy one of those products, which came with promo cards and like a lot of other not useless stuff, but stuff that you end up getting more than once. So things like the, the figures and the same promo cards, but anyway, uh, they just release this so i mean i'm i'm taking it that crown zenith got a reprint of sorts or they're either just bundling up existing products but this is the first time that i'm going to be opening this i've opened pretty much every crown zenith product it's the the it's actually the set that brought me back into the hobby and um let's see how we open this is a slide out oh yeah it does cool yeah this is the set that brought me back into the hobby and um i'm trying to master trying to master the set i mean i have like 97 percent of the base set done the galarian gallery which are like the full art uh or trainer car gallery cards whatever you want to call them they just keep changing the name they're called galarian gallery now those cards i have like 78 percent done um just to show you guys so i just re recently went to uh the sports card expo and i picked this up this is the Mewtwo from Crown Zenith, GG44. This has been one of my chase cards for, I don't know how long. Like I've opened a couple hundred packs of Crown Zenith. I've even pulled the, I've even pulled the Giratina three times. Like I have three of the four gold um, secret rare cards. I pulled the secret rare Pikachu like four or five times. Could not pull the Mewtwo. And I was always hoping to pull a 10 anyway and get it graded. So I came across a great deal on that one and I couldn't pass it up. But anyway, without any further delay, let's get into this. Uh, you know what? I like to shuffle up the packs just, just cause. And let's see. First pack of CZ. To be fair, I don't even remember the cards that I'm missing because I've opened this so many times. This is the code card if you guys want it. But, okay, so I see we got a V-Star. And let's see. V-Star. Carnivine. Giraffe Rig. Energy Switch. Molga. Ponyard. Cricketot. Chitot. Mr. Mime. Pangoro. EV full art. Okay. Not not a bad start. Um, I mean, not something that I need. I have, I think, three or four of these already, but it's definitely a nice, nice, um, nice EV card. Looks like it's in good condition. Centering is like a little bit off, but it's always nice to start with a hit. Whether we need it or not, definitely better than not pulling anything. So let's get on to the second pack. We've got six packs here. I mean, if I am chasing something or if I'm trying to keep something in mind, to be honest, I wouldn't mind pulling the, char the, uh, the I was about to say the Charizard, the Mewtwo again, just because there's like, it's a different feeling when you actually pull the card. I feel like I kind of cheated by buying it, but it is what it is. Rare Candy, Luxio, Electric, Bidoof, Solandit, Purloin, Grubbin, Scrub. And a Radiant Eternatus, which I also have a bunch of. Oh, how is there? Oh, that's the non-hollow rare, the Lux Ray. For some reason, I thought the Skrelp was the reverse hollow. Anyway, so two for two. Not bad, not a bad start. Nothing, uh, nothing to get too excited about, but I like to put the, the commons and uncommons there, the energies on the side, and then just put the hits there. So pack number four. Sorry, pack number three. I love when these packs open clean. Like I'm so OCD, it's just like so satisfying. When they open nice and clean, you know you're not nicking any of the corners. Code card. Come on, CZ. Fire Energy. Friends in Hisui. Shaman. Crushing Hammer. 
Ball Toy, Galarian Meowth, Energy Retrieval, Shinx, Chitot. Oh, shit. I pulled that up too quick. Grant, I don't have this. Okay. Nice little trainer. It's cool. It's an interesting art. Damn, I ain't mad though. I'm just happy to pull something that I don't already have. And Yan Mega non hollow rare. Nice. Okay. Another step closer to the master set, guys. Whenever I do finish it, I'll, I'll make a video. I'm putting them in a binder right now. I'm trying to actually master the set with all reverse hollow, so it's taking me a little bit longer, but yeah, it's a pretty cool card. Okay, on to our fourth pack. So we got, we basically got a hit in every pack so far. I mean, the EV and the, the Radiant Eternatus aren't worth that much necessarily, but again, rather pull it than a, a non-hollow. Dusclops, Tang, Energy Switch, Helioptile, Wooloo, Shinx, Pancham. These cards feel really like sick. Ponyard, like they're kind of sticking together. Something is sticking. Oh yeah, I think we got something, but it's sticking together here. Radiant Charizard. <sighs> Can never be mad about pulling a Charizard, but again, I do have this like three or four times. Oh, and a Kyogre Hollow, not bad. I mean, I love the Radiant cards. I actually think that the Radiant Charizard from um, Pokemon Go, surprisingly, might be nicer. Like, those are the only cards that are I personally think are really worth chasing in that set. It's not bad. A little thick on this side, but corners look clean. Nice. Okay, four for four. Let's go. Let's get it. This Kyogre, I'm not sure if I have in a holo or non holo but I'll put that to the side and leave it if it needs to go on the binder. Pack number five. Mm, yeah, I'm not sliding it out like that. Code card. One, two, three, four. Let's get it. Water energy. Gloom. Great ball. Graveler. Cricket hot. Shinx, Mr. Mime, Coughing, Sunkern, Reverse Hollow Energy. I think this is the reverse one. Isn't, oh, yeah, this is the one that doesn't have the texture on it. So, And then Zero Aura Non Hollow Rare. So that pack's kind of a bust. These energy cards are cool. The I think the reverse hollow ones are the ones that actually have texture, which is kind of weird, but. Yeah, it's just a regular hollow energy card. And I have all of them from this set already, so. All right, guys, last pack magic, let's go. We got this. I know this one's gonna have a banger, I'm manifesting. Let's go. Code card. Metal Energy, Ultra Ball, Electric, Lost Vacuum, Pancham, Snorunt, Rockruff, Tangela, Wall Toy, Reverse Hollow Bidoof, and uh, Lycan Rock Non Hollow. All right, not bad. So, just to recap, these are the pulls we got. We got the EV. The EV V, uh, Full Art Hollow, the Radiant Eternatus, the Radiant Charizard, something out of the sleeve a little bit, and probably the best pull of the day is the Grand Trainer. But four out of six packs with hits, guys. Like a lot of people say that, you know, Crown Zenith, the pull rates are too easy, but to be fair, you do get a lot of pulls, but it's actually difficult to get like the expensive pulls or the hard pulls to get it's not like you're constant it's not like every pack you're pulling like giratinas you know you're pulling you're pulling cards no doubt and you're getting a lot of hollows and full arts and stuff like that but there's a lot of repeats like i have tons and tons of bulk from this set and i've 
opened like well over three, 400, maybe even 500 packs of the set and I'm still not done completing the master set. So anyway, um, just wanted to show you guys what type of product this new booster bundle box is. Um, I'm not really sure the direction I'm going to go with this channel. I mainly post shorts, just like showing off my collection and stuff like that. I really just only started posting regularly again, like a month ago. Um, and I've been getting a lot of, you know, a lot of views, a lot of subscribers. So I appreciate all the love. Uh, you know, this is mainly just about for fun for me. At some point, maybe I'll decide to open a shop or, you know, start becoming a reseller or selling stuff online more frequently. But for now, one thing at a time, I'm just enjoying the hobby and I just want to share it with you guys. So if you do like this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you want to see more content like this and stay tuned until the next video. Till then, good luck with your pulls and happy collecting.